What is lipoic acid? This substance was initially discovered by accident in potatoes around 1937. Scientists realized it was used to help grow certain bacteria. It wasn't until the end of the 1950s when researchers named it alpha lipoic acid. Now, alpha lipoic acid, or ALA for short, is an antioxidant. Now, antioxidants are really important because they neutralize free radicals, which, which are very bad for health. Now, ALA is very unique because it not only helps the outside the cell, like all the other antioxidants, but it actually penetrates inside the cell membrane and goes inside to help, and this is sort of unique. Now, there's also some evidence that this helpful substance prolongs the life of other antioxidants in the human body, making them more effective. Now, the other role of ALL, ALA is that it converts blood sugar into energy. Now, considering how much sugar the average person eats, and, and I eat a whole bunch of sugar, this is really good. Having a bunch of sugar in the bloodstream is not good for a lot of reasons. To give you just one example, diabetes. It can improve long-term memory, uh, decrease the risk of cancer, and do many other great and wonderful things. Now, the really cool th uh, news about this is that we actually make this helpful entity in our cells every day. Uh, the bad news is, well, we produce less of it the older we do get. However, meat contains alpha lipoic acid, and of course, uh, muscles that work the most, like dinosaurs' hearts or bears' heart, will have the most. Now, instead of eating a whole bunch of bears' hearts every day, you can always just take a daily supplement. Now, there is a dark side of supplements, and there really are just tons of choices that all claim to be the best things in sliced bread, and some of them can even be dangerous. Now, regrettably, companies that sell supplements don't even have to prove their product is safe before they sell it and put it on store shelves. To make your life a little bit easier, because I'm sure you're like me, you're juggling many things, I'm um, actually create a guide. Now this guide can help someone simplify on how to spot a product that's good, what makes one that's risky and a bad choice. It talks about herbs someone should consider, doses amounts, laws to protect consumers, and a whole bunch more. Oh, and this guide is completely free. So to check it out, just click on the link below this video, and I hope you enjoy it. Take care.